Good morning, YouTube. Lightbringer here on this quiet Sunday morning. I will probably be doing all of this week's recordings today, so if it looks like I'm in the same place, doing the same things, ranting about the same things, well, it's because it's all happening within like an hour of each other. Um, as the intro said, this video is going to be about the Sturm and why I think it's lame. Now, before you get all uppity with me... I'm not saying the gun itself is lame, and it looks cool, it's here on my back. I'm saying its exotic perk is lame, compared to other exotics. Um, I mean, it's a great gun, it handles really well, it's got good range, good impact. But its exotic perk is just kind of lame to me. Like, I want the exotic perk to make the gun better, not other guns better. This gun does, when you kill a guy with the Sturm, it makes your energy weapon reload, which is great. And then kills with your energy weapon give the Sturm a little extra precision damage when you use the Sturm. Now, that means its core exotic perk makes this gun reload... And this gun's kills make the Sturm better. That turns Uriel's Gift into an exotic. That turns the Drang into an exotic. That turns the 765 into an exotic. Not the Sturm. The Sturm's exotic perk affects every gun but the Sturm. Like, its exotic perk is just the reload. This gun, this perk is just some native Sturm perk. Which, I guess, is fine still, but... It looks cool, it does some great damage, it is the best hand cannon in the game, probably. My favorite is probably the Sunshot, though, because its exotic perk makes it... Its exotic perk and its secondary perk make it Fatebringer, which really tells you that Bungie's Fatebringer, like, they realized you can't do better than Fatebringer. <laughs> so, like, Sunshot fires faster by a little bit. It's got a little smaller magazine, a little less range, but it's got better handling, better reload speed, and its exotic perk makes it do what feels like a little more damage to me, because it's got the explosive rounds, which means it can hit multiple people at once if they're in a group. When it kills a guy, which, let's not, let's not lie, it's a hand can, it's gonna kill people in a shot or two, when it kills people, the guys explode, which means more damage to the guys around them. The Sturm is a very snipey feeling kind of hand cannon, and I love it. Just as an exotic, I feel like it's a lame exotic, and it wastes your exotic slot. Um, while we're ranting about things, what was Bungie's idea with introducing the farm? Like... By now, everybody knows, you beat the game, you get a new hub space. Problem is, everybody left the farm. Which means, the farm is now useless as a flippin' hub space. The only people that stuck around were the Mailbot and Tyra Karn. But, there's still Mail and a Cryptarch in the tower. So there is no reason to come here. Hawthorne Tower. Cade Tower. Holiday Tower. Everybody's in the tower. It's stupid. Why would you introduce a new hub space and take out everybody from that hub space within a few dozen story missions? It makes the farm, yes, it looks pretty, but it's not useful. And that makes me upset because I loved, I love the farm. I like chilling here. This is why I'm going to do all these videos. It's nice. It's quiet. I like the ambience. You don't hear. Like, I would have loved to see maybe Hawthorne or Cade stick around here. Because in the story, Cade was saying, I kind of miss the tower. But I like what Hawthorne's done with the place. Like, Cade loves this outdoorsy feel. 
I think if he could have found an excuse, Cade would have loved to stay out of the tower. Like, that was all, that was his shtick in Destiny 1. He loved not being in the tower if he could ever manage a way out of it. The farm is that excuse. It's in close contact with the tower, due to Hawthorne being the liaison between the tower and the farm. So Cade could have easily been here and stayed in contact via comms and his ghost. And as long as he stayed in contact, like Zavala goes to call Cade for, like, the Hunter Vanguard update or something. As long as Cade kept his comms on and stayed in contact, I don't think Zavala or Ikora would have minded much if Cade had stayed at the farm. But yeah, the, the Sturm to me takes up an exotic slot that it really doesn't need to. This, when it's nighttime, is fantastic. It's amazing. Like, it lights up half the farm. Oh, man, it's great. Um, just, I don't know. The Sturm is like a waste to me. So, um, with that, guys, lights out.